Hello everyone, thanks for coming to my talk and uh, I'm sorry that I can't be there in person. In this paper, we want to aggregate the results of different regression and learning to rank methods. And um, I want to note that this work was done in the IS lab of the University of Tehran. In this presentation, I am using a very straightforward outline. Uh, I briefly introduce the task and uh, explain the methodology. After that, we will see the experimental results, and uh, in the last part, we can conclude our paper. Our paper proposes an approach for user engagement as evaluation challenge at uh, ACM Rexis of 2014. Um, and the task is ranking the tweets of each user uh, based on their engagement. And here, the engagement means the number of favorites plus the number of retweets. Uh, the usages of this test can be in detecting breaking news, tweet recommendation, content recommendation, and so on. Um, because all of you are familiar with this test, uh, I think it's enough for the introduction, and I prefer uh, to talk more about the methodology. Okay, uh, to rank the tweets based on their engagement, we propose exploiting two different learning approaches regression and learning to rank uh, because they have uh, two different points of view and the results might be totally different. Uh, to be able to use these learning approaches we need some features so we defined 27 features and also we uh, performed feature selection to improve the results and finally, we aggregate the results obtained from different methods. Uh, different methods here means uh, the different regression methods and plus different learning training methods. Um, as I mentioned, they have uh, different points of view, so um, we think that the aggregation results might be uh, higher than their single results. So, um, in the remaining of this talk, uh, I started with uh, the features, I explained the features, and then uh, I go to the different methods. We have defined 27 features in three categories, user-based, movie-based, and tweet-based. Uh, the user-based features only uh, have the information about the user, specific information about the user, and the movie-based uh, only contains the information about the movie, like uh, the average rating of the movie. And the tweet base contains all the information about the tweet and also the rating of the user uh, about the movie. Uh, we also perform the feature selection. We use the backward elimination technique. Um, and in the following slide, you can see that uh, some of the features are uh, colored as blue and they are those retained after the feature selection. So in the user-based features, uh, we have um, several features, and four of them, which are uh, colored as blue, are selected after the backward elimination technique. For example, number of followers means uh, the number is obvious that it's the number of followers of the user, and number of tweets, number of IMDb tweets means the number of tweets uh, which uh, are posted from the IMDb website and the difference between the number of followers and the number of followees. I avoided to explain the others. Uh, if you're interested, you can uh, see our paper and we ex explain all of them in details. The movie-based features are the smallest group. Um, there are only two features, and one of them are selected after the feature selection. Um, and this is the average rating of the movie. Uh, and the tweet-based features, the more features selected in this group. Um, if you see, for example, the rate of the movie that and the user um, applied for that, and the mention count. There are also three binary features, holidays or not, same language or not, English or not. And uh, all of the binary features are selected as the 
discriminative features after the feature selection. Now we want to explain our two solutions. As I mentioned, uh, we have two solutions, regression and learning training. Uh, as a first one, the regression considers all the tweets together. Uh, so we need to train a regression model on the training data and predict the, engage the exact engagement of each tweet in the test data and uh, sort them um, based on the engagement for each user. Uh, so we exploited uh, three different regression mo models. Uh, extra trees, Bayesian Ridge Regression, and Stochastic Gradient Descent. We use them because they are among uh, the state of the arts and they are, the, they are using diff totally different approaches inside. Uh, in the second solution, we use learning to rank approach, uh, which considers the tweets of each user and tries to minimize the loss function. And to this end, we train a learning to rank model on the training data and rank the tweets of each user uh, without um, accessing the exact engagement. Uh, to this aim, we used uh, six different learning training methods, uh, three list-wise and three pair-wise, which you can see in uh, this slide. Okay, uh, if we want to conclude this part, uh, we can compare the regression and learning training method. Uh, as we know, the regression uses the exact engagement values, but the learning trick doesn't. Um, and the learning trick only uses uh, the rank of the tweets based on their engagements. Also, the regression fits the model for all the instances. It's not um, specific for each user. And um, the learning trick can optimize the evaluation metric, for example, here is MDCG at 10 uh, for each user, but regression cannot. And we optimize the regression models based on MAE, mean absolute error. For the ranking, aggregation assumes that uh, we have n different rankings, and the final ranking uh, is the one which has. Um, the, min the minimum can alter how distance with all the base rankings. Uh, but keep in mind that we uh, assume that each of the rankings has a weight of WI and we perform the cross validation over the training data and uh, use the randomized search to find these weights for each of the rankings. Uh, so that's it, our methodology is finished and uh, we want to go to the experimental results. For the evaluation, we use the ACM Rexis Challenge 2014 dataset, uh, which is an extended version of a movie tweeting dataset, and the evaluation metric is NDCG at 10. And the results uh, in this presentation and in the paper are those obtained uh, on the test set. In this slide, we can see the results obtained by different regression models uh, with and without feature selection. Um, so, if you take a look at the table, we can see that the results without feature selection uh, is much higher than the results after performing the feature selection. And this means that the feature selection doesn't help the regression mo models. And the best regression models for this task is a stochastic gradient descent. Uh, and its result um, is, I think, much higher than the other ones. Um, and for the learning to rank methods, uh, we can see it's not the same as the regression. The results after performing the feature selection becomes higher. 
and also if you take a look at the results all of them are near to each other and they are higher than the regression results so um, in total the link rank methods works better than the regression uh, and the best LTR method is um, the least net which is one of the least wise approaches in this slide we can see the results obtained by aggregating different LTR methods in the first row and uh, the results obtained by um, aggregating different regression methods in the second one and also uh, aggregating all of them together in the last row and as you see the results of uh, aggregating all the linked trick methods uh, plus all the regression methods is uh, higher than uh, the other ones and as you see the, the improvement is not so much um, so we performed significant tests we used the student t-test and uh, it shows that our, um, performance is significantly better than the others As a conclusion, uh, we can say that we propose two solutions for this task, regression and learning to rank. Uh, to this aim, we propose 27 features in different categories. And um, we propose ranking aggregation to improve the performance. And the experiments show that the feature selection selects the features from all the categories so all of them are useful and um, the ranking aggregation significantly improves the results um, finally I want to mention that we implemented uh, an open source package named PAL which is a preference or ranking aggregation library and we implemented world account weighted Kemeny, Copeland and Skulls um, till now and uh, we'll contribute on the, uh, that more and um, you can access it on the github uh, at github.com slash ut-iis slash path thank you for your attention and again sorry that I can't be there in person if you have any question, you can send an email to me at uh, h.zamani at ut.ac.ir. Again, thank you for your attention.